Before we back at it again live, Gen Sports Corner back at you. A wonderful Friday, May 26, 726 Eastern Standard Time right now. And today's a special boxing edition. I'm going to get back to my roots. Talk about some boxing, a lot of big news. I'm going to recap the fight from last weekend between Devin Haney and Lomachenko. Then I'm going to talk about, obviously, you can read the title, big fight announcement being made between Crawford and Spence. And then a couple other fights coming up in July. So it's going to be quite... A hot summer quite a hot summer so let's go ahead and get into it before i go ahead make sure you go to the, to the youtube channel for those on the facebook live stream like subscribe you know all the other good stuff so you know every time i'm dropping a video let's talk about it first and foremost finally 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 earl spence and terrence crawford they hammered out the details for a deal uncle al Heyman got it done and they are officially set to fight july 29th 2023 coming up very very soon actually i mean you're talking about may june july eight weeks i mean they just announced the fight so it would it would lend you to believe that it's actually happening because they put it out just ahead of what a typical training camp would be which is about eight weeks which is <laughs> i mean it's the 26 now you know set your watch right so look better sooner than later it should have happened earlier it should have happened last December, November when it was supposed to, but at least they got it done. This is a big matchup for all of you guys that aren't boxing fans. Earl Spence, straight up dog, walks you down, takes your wet your body away with the body shots, and just breaks you down and gets you the F up out of there. He's that he's like that, man. And then but Crawford, a little more versatile, but he has that dog in him. He gets hit with a shot, he wakes up and he tries to destroy you. So this is a match made in heaven. They were on a collision course. So it's it's good that maybe they can get this fight in at 147 for all the marbles, all four belts. This were undisputed. And then let the chips fall where they may and then move up to 154. And maybe they have a rematch up at 154. I don't know. But I'm, I'm so happy this fight's happening. And not only is this fight going down, but there's actually a couple other fights that are coming up. So July 29th. We have Stephen Fulton versus the Monster in No UA. Uh, for the WBC and WBO world titles at 122 pounds. I mean, this is, a, again, another banger, man. Steve Fulton, live wire, man. Super slick, fast. He got all the tools in the toolbox. And then in No UA, the Monster from Japan, from across the pond, or across a couple ponds <laughs> at, that, at, at that matter, I mean, what more does the dude have to do? I mean, he, he had a very, very big stoppage win of Nonito Donaire in the rematch. The first first fight was a banger, and then he came out in the second fight and completely dominated from start to finish, which was only about two rounds. So, I mean, look, this is a match made in heaven. There's going to be fireworks, and I know he weighs one of those guys. He's going to make the fight. There is no running from him, and I think Stephen Fultz going to be right there waiting for him. Then on the 29th, you have Earl Spence versus Terrence Crawford for undisputed at 147. The amount of undisputed bouts that we've gotten in the past two years is crazy. It's what it should have been the past 15 years, but better late than never. All right, for undisputed at 147. And then August 19th, you have Arda Betterbiev versus Kalen Smith, who's moving up from 168. He was champion at 168, and then he lost his belt to Canelo. Now he's moving up to 175 to face Arda Betterbiev, who has three of the four belts at 175. The IBF, the WBO, and the WBC on the line. Obviously, the WBA being held by one Mr. Dimitri Bivol. So that's going to be another uh, another big fight there. You know, we, we don't know what's going to happen. So that, I love the lineup. And this year, we've already gotten a lot of big fights. A lot of a lot of really good fights. I mean, we just got through Haney and Lomachenko, which I'm going to go through. I'm going to give my breakdown on what I thought of the fight. But we just had that, and now you're going to come up with Spence and Crawford, and then Fulton and and then uh, the Monster in OUA. Then you have Better BF coming back to fight in August. I mean, finally, man. If it, if it took MMA pushing boxing and and forcing their hand to make the big fights, then so be it. But here we are. All right, so 
what a time to be alive. <laughs> That's all I really have to say about that. Fight. But, we got more fights coming up. I cannot wait for the Spence and Crawford fight. I've been calling for it for so long. I was ready to make a video last December before it got canceled. So, you know, let's 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 get to July 29th and, and get a good fight in. Um, yo, thanks for tuning in. Um, and I'll be at you guys on the next one. I'll be talking about hopefully a Celtics loss against the Heat. Um, as well as the Lakers sweep that we saw. That that would make nothing nothing would make me happier as a Sixers fan than to see that. But with that said, I'll catch you on the next one. Deuces.